It was supposed to be emergency accommodation, but for around 30 Ukrainian refugees, this is home now. The community hall of the Marcus Congregation in Berlin. The church pays for the refugees' stay here. Finding a permanent apartment in Berlin is almost impossible. Anna Zhuravskaya and her eight-year-old daughter Anastasia found a room for a few months. Now they had to come back. They say the dormitory almost feels like home. Anna fled with her two children from Odessa back in March. I was so scared when people in Ukraine said, you need to leave, save your children. I was so scared to go to a foreign country where I don't know the language, the people, the mentality. But here we've been treated so warmly. The volunteers here have been so dedicated to helping the Ukrainian refugees that the church has employed some of them to sort through donations and groceries and help translate. Several are originally from Russia, but here it's support in hard times that counts rather than national boundaries. And the volunteers expect a tough winter. We have capacity to 80 people. We have space for 80 people here, or for 100 in case of a crisis. I think we're ready. We will give our all to help these people and take them in, definitely. With winter setting in, Berlin's government is in a race against time, for example at this former airport. Currently, new arrivals from Ukraine register and live here temporarily before they can be moved on, within Berlin or to other German cities. Two heated tents at the old airport house 400 people each, but they're almost full. By the end of the year, the city plans to set up more permanent housing for an additional 10,000 refugees. Our goal is for people's stay in this temporary housing to be short, so that we can offer people a place to move on to. But at the moment, people have been arriving faster than we can create places for them. Back at the Marcus Church community, one Ukrainian family has been able to move into a permanent separate apartment after months in a tiny room with two infants. Their mother Yulia is relieved, but feeling fully at home can be hard. Many of the family's relatives are still in Ukraine. We are living here in peace and quiet, in a warm, nice place and they are there. We still feel like we are somehow in limbo. But I am trying to live in the current reality. I'm living here with the kids and I have to create a comfortable life for them. With the war dragging on and winter ahead, Yulia's family is lucky. Even now, hundreds of Ukrainians are stuck in arrival centers in Berlin, hoping for a more permanent home.